Okay, today we will try to discuss how to factor trinomial. So here we have the following problem. We would like to factor this trinomial. Okay, the first step is to look at the coefficient of x squared. Okay, and then we can see here that the coefficient is 4. And then if we know the coefficient, write the reciprocal of that coefficient, so 1 4, and then make two parentheses, and again we look at this coefficient, put 4x and also over here 4x. The next step, look at the product of the coefficient of x squared and the constant. So 4 times 6 is 24. And then look at the coefficient of x, negative 14. Now we would like to find two numbers so that if we multiply we get 24 and simultaneously when we add those numbers we get negative 14. Okay, so probably this will need uh, some time to practice. So you can start with all factors of 24, say you list all possible factors of 24, like 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6, and so on. And then after you do that, you can see that the two numbers that we are looking for are negative 12 and negative 2. So negative 12 and negative 2. Negative 12 and negative 2. Okay. And then we put this number in the empty slot here. So put negative 12 and negative 2. So we have a factorization of the trinomial. But if you want to have a simpler factorization, you can factor out 4 from this. So you will have 1 4. We factor out 4. And over here we have x minus 3 and 4x minus 2. Now we can cancel out this 1 4 times 4 which is equal to 1. So the final factorization is x minus 3 times 4x minus 2. Okay, let us try another example. So number 2 say 3p squared hmm. let's see uh, plus 11p plus 6 okay again let us try remember our method look at the coefficient of the quadratic term so put one third, put the reciprocal of that number, make two parentheses, write 3p and also here 3p. And then the next step, look at the product of the leading term and the constant coefficient. So 3 times 6 is 18 and we put the coefficient of p 11. So we are looking for two numbers so that the product of the two is 18 and at the same time the sum of the two numbers is 11. So after experimenting with all possible factors of 18 we can see that 9 and 2 are the two numbers that we are looking for. Okay, So we can so this, since those are positive, we can consider this as plus 9 and plus 2. So if we put here plus 9 and plus 2. Okay. 
again now we try to simplify by factoring out 3 from this so one third we factor out 3 outside p plus 3 times 3p plus 2 and then now we can cancel out this because 1 third times 3 is equal to 1 so the conclusion is that this trinomial can be factored as p plus 3 times 3p plus 2 okay then we wonder if our method now is working with uh, the usual trinomial with coefficient 1. Say we have x squared plus 5x plus 6. Okay. Now according to our method, the coefficient here is 1, so 1 over 1. Again, here the coefficient is 1, so put 1x, which is just x, and then also x here. And then we are looking for two numbers so that the product is the same as the product of this coefficient with 6, which is 6. So we want two numbers so that if we multiply, we get 6. And if we add, we have 5. So the two numbers, we can easily see they are 3 and 2. So this is plus 3 and plus 2. Plus 3 and plus 2. Now this 1 over 1 is equal to 1. And we can just ignore it. So then this is equal to x plus 3 times x plus 2 okay one more example okay here we have 4z squared minus 16z minus 9 okay look at this coefficient put the reciprocal of that make parentheses put 4z everywhere Look at the product of the two numbers, which is negative 36. And also look at this coefficient, negative 16. So we are looking for two numbers, so that if we, if we multiply, we have negative 36. And if we add, we get negative 16. And after trying around, we have negative 18 and 2 negative 18 and 2 okay so we put here negative 18 and plus 2 so this is should be for z now if you look at this usually we can factor out 4 but here, if we factor out 4, then here will be not a whole number, it will be 18 over 4. And also, if we factor out 4 from here, we also have... Um, if we factor out 4 from here, this is also a rational number, not a whole number. So, you can keep it like this, or, if you want, we can pull out 2 from there, so 1, 4, each of this term has 2 as its factor, so we factor out 2, 2z two minus 9, and also here we can factor out 2, 2, 2z two plus 1, okay, and then we can cancel because 1 4 I mean 2 times 2 is 4 so 4 divided by 4 is 1 so we can cancel this to get this factorization 